I testify, I'm also the president of the Kansas Association of Technical Colleges. So that would be seven, there are seven technical colleges in the state of Kansas. And since uh, FY 2011, we have, um, we have grown 36.9%. We've produced 25.7% more degrees and certificates. Um, we have placed 90% of those students into jobs and 90% of those jobs are in the state of Kansas. So you're getting a heck of an investment we have it calculated about $11, a little over $11 for every dollar that's invested. Uh, our entire sector costs $21.6 million to the state. But during that same time, they've decreased our uh, funding over 11%. Um, and now we're hearing threats of another 6.95%. And for technical colleges, I mentioned that we don't have taxing authority. And so a community college does. So if, if we're, a community college is cut, and I'm, I mean, I'm not saying they don't need more money too, but a community college can go and they can raise their property taxes. We have to put it on the backs of our students or find ways to be more efficient. So when, when technical colleges first were conceived, um, the, it was supposed to be 15% was the student portion tuition of that, uh -huh. and 85% was supposed to be funded through state reimbursements. It's about 50-50 now.